been going on for over two years now and it's over management plans to try and scrap anti-social hours payments for our members who work weekends. The members of staff that we're talking about are um, the front of house staff, the visitor services staff, so the cleaners, museum assistants, uh, tour guides, we have like, specialists like the working craftspeople who've got really you know, unique skills that they demonstrate to the public. The front of house visitor services members work five out of seven weekends, well over 36 weekends a year. The payment comprises about two to three thousand pounds per person or about 15 to 20 percent people's total salary. We're, quite, you know, we're talking about quite low paid workers here, the average basic pay is about £15,000. So this forms a fundamental part of people's salaries. The management want to take, get rid of it completely. At the same time, we, we know that management team have awarded themselves pay rises. Our museum director, David Anderson, earns £100,000 a year, plus a bonus of around £10,000 a year. He hasn't been in a negotiation with me for two years. He's now recently said that they are going to try to impose the contract, and if members don't accept it, they're going to sack them and re-engage them on the new terms instead. They're telling our cleaning staff, whose basic wage is below the living wage, how lucky they are because they're going to increase their basic wage to the living wage, but they're cutting their unsocial hours payments. The museum and the Welsh Government are making those lowest paid workers pay for the cuts from this government. And it, they obviously think that they can bully them, again, just like the junior doctors threatening to impose a new contract. And we have to show that bullying and intimidation doesn't work. We fought for two years a campaign of rolling strikes, often lasting you know, several weeks. We had large mass rallies in Cardiff, outside the Senate building, uh, marches in St. Fagans. Because of those actions, we've managed to prevent them imposing the deal. They did end up offering a compensation payment of two years. It's a lump sum to take off, but we've tried to work with them about coming up with new rotor systems for people working less weekends, improving basic pay. We've put all kinds of options to them, um, which by and large, they, they pretty much dismissed all of them. And we had a, there was a deal where there was a slightly improved compensation offer a few months ago. They breached the agreement basically by intimidating lots of our members when we were balloting. And as a result of that, they're now trying to impose a worse deal on our members. Because of this renewed threat, we're again taking role in strike action. But we're in discussions at the moment of escalating it. They were on strike all over Easter. They're on strike every weekend in April. If the strikers escalate their action, we have to raise the funds to allow them to do that. So money is crucial. We hope that everybody can try and raise money in whatever way they can, either making a donation themselves or doing a collection where they work. Uh,